What's up, y'all? Back, Unbreakable Kicks. Real quick, just did the Red Velvet 11 review, sneaker review. Now, on to what I really wanted today. I was able to get Yeezys, I got Yeezys, and I sold them before I left out the mall. But that's not what I wanted today. This, and I didn't hit on no sneaker app, I didn't hit on any of the foot sites, but I was able to walk out with this box. It says freestyle. We got the DBs, the Dorn Becker freestyle, Air Jordan 7s. Now, I have every Air Jordan um, Dorn Becker that release uh, retail. So, no, I don't have the DB 12 that only 10 pair came out and they went into auction and they sold for like $20,000. No, I don't have those. I'm not there just yet, but I will be. But, anyways, we have the Air Jordan DB 7. Look at the box, Air Jordan DB7. I'll even show you all the receipt. I got these today from RU Villa. Got a little story to go along with this. There you go, Air Jordan 7, Doran Becker. Now, so I went to Foot Action to pick up a pair of shoes um, for a customer. And I'm like, man, I know Villa, they did the bring a, um, they did like a bring a toy and they guaranteed your your DBs, but I wind up coming a little bit too late. So I'm like, all right, cool. I'm just gonna stay around. It was already 10 o'clock. They said at 11 o'clock is first come first serve to the public. So it was like four dudes ahead of me. I will not really tripping because if you notice when a shoe store has customers in there waiting, if they only got like one or two pair and people start coming in and start telling people, all right, y'all might as well leave because we only got like one or two pair, but they want to stay in there. So, you know, me and the four dudes, we were getting all happy like, yeah, we're gonna at least get a pair we gonna at least get outside. So they had the grade school um, pairs at first come first serve. I didn't pick up any grade school pairs. I wish I did because a couple people hit me up asking for them, but I apologize for that. But we wound up waiting about an hour and the line started getting longer and longer and then they still were not saying nothing. So 11 o'clock hit, they're like, what size you need? I'm like, I need an 11. Boom, they had it. Instantly happy. This is the only pair of shoes that I wanted today and I was able to get them. So let's get to the box. So on every pair of DBs, and if you don't know about DBs, um, Doran Becker, they sponsor with um, a hospital in Portland, Oregon for um, young, young children with cancer, and they get the opportunity to design their own shoe. So you got the DB, you got DB1, DB2, DB3, DB4s, DB5, DB6. Now you got the DB7s. You got the DB8s, DB9s, you have the 10s, and you have the 13s. Like I said, I have all of them. And you also have um, like DB phones, you got DB, um, they had the DB Kyrie's, they had the DB LeBron's, but I only do the DB Jordans. And this is the young man right here who designed the DB7, and his name is Damian Phillips. He's age 10. See that Damian Phillips, age 10. It says that um, he was diagnosed with hemophilia a severe. So hemophilia, it has something to do with the blood, because I know hemo is blood going back to my college days. Um, I'm just gonna read the top of the, the just a little bit about Damian right quick. Hopefully, you know you guys are interested in it. Damian says it isn't easy to live with a severe bleeding disorder. Hemophilia, okay. But Damien isn't about to let it stop him. When this ambitious 10-year-old isn't dreaming of playing in the NBA, he loves to play his guitar. Damien's undeniable enthusiasm for life can be summed up in his favorite Michael Jordan quote. Just play, have fun, enjoy the game. So once again, this is Damien, and he's the one who designed this Air Jordan 7 that I'm about to show you. So, let's get to the shoes, Damien. Shout out to Damien also, because Air Jordan 7 is my second favorite model in the Air Jordan silhouettes. Woo! Okay. So, a lot of people was tripping about these when these first came out, when they first seen the picture. A lot of people was tripping, saying, oh, they ugly. This the worst DB. Um, these going to sell for like 300 bucks afterwards, but surprisingly, nobody was thinking about Yeezys today. Everybody wanted the DB sevens. Now these kind of look like the DB tens as far as the colorway to me, but 
they're not. This is honestly, to me, kind of one of the best colorways in the DB collection. So let's look at the bottom. Because the bottom of the shoe, the outsole of the shoe, we have um, a character from Schoolhouse Rock, I want to say. So we have, it says right there, Super. We got um, a young boy playing a guitar. It has 23 on the guitar, and he's wearing the DB7s. And under that, it says explosion so super explosion the young boy is playing a guitar when it looks like um yeah those are the db uh db7 and with the 23 chicago bulls um outlay on the guitar so both shoes they look to be symmetrical but we'll check that out in a second so let's go we got first thing that i noticed is we have a little accent that goes right here on the shoelace now it doesn't look like um a lace lock or anything like that it kind of looks like a little pin that you know honestly because i used to play the guitar this is a guitar pick so that's that's dope <laughs> this is my first time looking at the shoe so this is dope so you got a guitar pick as um a little accent to the shoelaces so very dope right there on the aglets of the shoe. Now, if you guys don't know what the aglet is, the aglet is the hard part at the end of a shoelace. So the aglet, you got like your little metal aglets, um, gold metal aglets, and they kind of have um, little X's going down on the aglet. You have a clear outsole, like that blue icy clear outsole, going up to uh, um, all gold mountains, the little Jordan mountains, or some people call them shark teeth. I call them the Jordan Mountains, and you got um, a black coming up to the midsole. You got a, a black like outsole to the shoe also. Now, these kind of like when I say these remind me of the DB10 because the DB10s kind of had like a Freddy Krueger um, custom to it. Same colorway. So you got on you know, your toe box, you got your blood red going up to a black. On the side panel of your shoe, you got your blood red right here, and what's dope about this the black accent is kind of like not like of a leather but it's kind of like a smooth hard to do hard to describe never felt this like kind of material on a jordan but it's like a, a real smooth leather not like a thick leather but like very smooth very this is very well done crafted shoe also um size 11 you guys see that size 11 these were um, started in production 8 4 16 and ended 10 7 16 so if yours doesn't say that um, unfortunately you don't have a legit pair um, shoe tree and on the left shoe it says just play have fun inside on the insole very nice shoe very nice shoe now most Jordans have when it comes to the Air Jordan 7 tongue you have different tongues you have like multicolor ones like the um what french blues and all the other jordan sevens but it's kind of rare to have a a, a a solid color tongue air jordan so you got the solid tongue solid color black tongue now normally it will say no kappa normally <laughs> normally it will say um jordan it'll say jordan and within the jordan it'll say air but it says um djp so for damian phillips i don't know what the j j is his middle name but i it didn't say on the box what the j stood for so it says djp between the jordan so that's different also um let's check out the let's check out the gold jump man on the side you got your gold jump man which is covered in a plastic um this is a metal material so not like a cheap plastic or anything like that your pull, excuse me, your pull tag feels like, um, kind of like of a, not leather. This is definitely not leather. So it feels kind of like the insole of the shoe, like the shoe sock. That's what exactly what the tongue feels, the um, pull tab feels like. And on the back where it normally will say like a 23, it has DJP for Damian Phillips. So this is the left shoe. And again, on the left shoe, the insole says just play half fun. Now on the right shoe, pretty much have the same exact colorway, same exact layout, 
everything except for the the outsole is different um the super and the explosion it got the s shoe but the left shoe finishes it off for you now let's check out that insole and the insole says enjoy the game and on the insole it has a signature from michael jordan on it also which is decent i like that too so yeah man these are really really nice give you guys another little 360 on the shoe there you go with your djp for damian phillips another guitar pick this is really nice man really nice i actually love the db um series just because all of the proceeds so every time all us sneakerheads have bought a pair of dbs at a, at a retail store it all went to the dorn becker hospital in portland oregon so good proceeds especially around the christmas holiday all this money is going to help research for cancer so i really like that um go jump man of course nothing on that side you got the leather definitely a high quality shoe man now generally you will see like glue marks and things like that i don't see any glue marks i don't see any any messy paint they definitely did that thing with these really love these um like i said shout out to damian phillips for that um creating such a nice shoe a lot of people was giving them um trash about the shoe calling them ugly but a lot of folks went crazy for these today in my opinion this is the best db we have so far glad i got them for retail um once again if you're not following me on instagram the instagram is unbreakable kicks u-n-b-r-e-a-k-a-b-l-e -E, kicks that's me find me on there add me on there follow me on there i got all my information as far as shoe releases what's hot what's coming out i'm gonna start posting like pictures of just random shoes of the week in my personal collection anything y'all need y'all hit me up in the comments let me know what i can do better etc um like i said and the maroon video the maroon 11 or the velvet 11s um up next we have the navy 16s so if y'all want those let me know and then after that we got the black cat sixes sixes is my favorite air jordan model um definitely gonna get those and once again those premium 11s are very rare one store so far in the country is said to get them in chicago um, 9 out of 10 is gonna be the jordan store so i may be able to get one one or two more pairs of those but my pair is a sample pair so i'm not selling those and if you don't know what a sample pair sample pair is a pair from like jordan friends and family well again shout out to my boy john taylor on that um appreciate it db7s unbreakable out